Alrighty, welcome back to the show. I have to be quiet because Olivia's sleeping. It's about 5.40ish. Uh, we're heading hunting today, day one. It's a very short hunt, in and out, doof doof. Um, yeah, some friends are heading up together. Should be fun, you guys are gonna tag along. I haven't had coffee yet because Olivia's sleeping, so uh, we've got about an hour's drive before we're gonna stop for coffee. So I need to pack up the last few things um, and then, yeah, let's go hunting, baby. Okay, so we have arrived. It's pretty windy. Pretty windy, a lot windy. The facility looks really nice. I'll take you guys through there just now. Probably gonna just pack out this is a cell phone video, so apologies for the wind. Um, I haven't packed out all the camera stuff. Um, but it looks pretty cool, pretty neat. I'm a bit of a neat freak, as you guys know, if you've watched any of my videos. Um, so I don't like roughing it, judge me for that. But yeah, I like nice, nice stuff. And it's very, very pretty. Um, so yeah, let's get packed out. I'm gonna sign in. We've just done our temperature checks for COVID. 36.3 I was so everybody's looking good um, hand sanitizer everywhere which is pretty cool and uh, yeah let me take you inside hunting is we take a steel target which Dave over there was kind enough to bring for us we've set it up on the other side of the water around about there ish for 20 I think 450 yep impact um, and then we just sort of validate our rifles I've got some trigger cam video I literally put two rounds on and put my rifle away because I only brought like 34 rounds for the hunt so now we're gonna settle in have a lucky evening Wake up tomorrow morning bright and early. It's gonna be a windy, a very windy uh, hunt, but it should be fun. We've got the big camera and then we'll switch to the proper camera. This is cell phone, so I apologize if the footage is a little bit crappy, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. So I'll see you guys probably tomorrow morning. Uh, good night, sleep tight, and uh, bye. Anyone for a, a nailed case? Oh, the fire's hot. Right, good morning to day one of the hunt. It's mad windy. Um, I'm super glad I brought the big boomer out. Um, today we will be doing what we call a voorsitjag, or it's probably in the closest terms for maybe some of the European guys, a driven hunt. Um, I hope you can hear me over the wind. Uh, so quickly, we're doing some coffee. The sun is just about to rise. Let me see if I can show you guys that. Uh, camera is going to struggle with that, but the sun is busy coming up over that ridge line at the back there. So still pretty early, um, very windy, pretty cold. I'm freezing in this little thing, so I'm going to definitely grab a bigger jacket. But I quite like hunting with one of these sleeveless down jackets because it's quite a nice layer to shed. Um, oh, let me just get this <laughs> back up. Uh, I slept terribly. I shared a room with my friend Skulk, he fell asleep like this, which I don't have the ability to do that, unfortunately. And uh, luckily I was able to sort of walk down the wooden floors of the house that creaked and I probably woke up everyone in the house and I was able to find another room, but also not my own bed, so slept a little bit crappy. But anyway, I'm excited for today. So on the menu for today is Springbuck. So we're only gonna be shooting Springbuck throughout the morning session today we might take a late afternoon drive and see if we can get some bigger game animals so my personal list for the hunt is about six uh, springbok and maybe an oryx or a, or a kudu depending on which one we see first 
But yeah, windy today, so probably gonna not shoot anything much further than about 200 meters. Um, yeah, anyway, so on that note, we're gonna go have some breakfast. I'll show you guys sort of what this facility looks like. Really cool. Maybe try zoom in for us there on the ridge line and show you how the sun rises. But yeah, beautiful morning, other than the wind. Um, nice being out in the Karoo. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I'm gonna log all my big camera stuff in. I've got the trigger cam. And uh, yeah, so, should be fun video. <laughs> it's very cold, but you can't see that on camera. Um, just take my word for it. I'm pretty sure my entire cup of coffee is almost frozen. Um, it's one of those where you can't really close your hands properly. Anyway, okay, cool. Let's go have some brekkie. Bucky, everyone, and heading out to our place of hunting. You guys know what the Bucky is? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so we've just been dropped off. We have absolutely this bush. It's the only cover we have. Um, I can pretty much see around me as far as I as I need to. Big crow above me. He hasn't seen me, but completely flat, pretty windy get all the camera stuff set up so we can make some boom boom okay so we are all settled in um, I'm gonna mask up just to get away from the Sun and then put my cap back on and then now it's a waiting day you guys really won't be able to see me but I'm gonna be doing shooting out of my tripod my friend set up over there somewhere should be a good day They are right on my friend now, like literally on him. Oh, Dave, they're on you, bro. Not a bad way to open up the account for the day. Uh, back of the head, to I don't know how far it was. Anyway, so straight up. I hope I nailed the trigger cam. But uh, feels good to get get things cracked off with a headshot right off the bat. Okay, uh. I just ran up to check the shot placement because it is super windy. Um, all the springbok have circled around. Probably gonna have a few minutes to have a snack. But perfect shot right in the back of the head. Big ram down. So I'm happy with that. Um, that's some meat in the fridge. Five more to go. 
and uh, then we'll go look for something bigger. But uh, did a nice little skirmish 180 there on the floor. I was initially going to shoot it out of the tripod, then I saw they coming up way on a different side where I felt they were going to be. So I had to quickly adapt the plan and improvise. But yeah, it feels good to get the first shot off and have a buck down. Okay, there's an update for you. This is going to be really difficult to get this camera to focus. So I set up behind me as I was eating a Kit Kat, uh, which is a chocolate delicacy or that is in our snack pack. And I saw there were some buck that had run up behind me. So everything happened really quickly as it does in hunting. And this camera was a little bit far back, but we drilled another headshot right by the road. So that's gonna make collecting it much easier. I'm guessing we were at about 200 meters. I'm shooting the new Strike Eagle, as you guys would have seen in the preview up to this. So far, two shots off the reticle, no problems. Two shots, two headshots. So yeah, um, it is windy. I didn't hold much for wind at this distance, but uh, just always a good satisfying feeling to land those ethical kills and see the bull, or not the bull, the, the animal just drop in its tracks. Um, no suffering at all. And uh, yeah, okay, two down, four to go. So a little update, um, let me see if I can get this better for you. We had a herd of springbok move up behind us, uh, it happened really quickly, I pushed recorders hoping they'd push more towards me but they didn't, so I had to move. Luckily they got distracted and uh, I was able to sneak up behind them, shoot them off a fence post, sort of precision rifle style, snapped another two headshots, one at about 250 and the other one probably at about 100 and something. So four down. Um, I think I got those on trigger cam. I'll have to see if it happens so quickly. Sorry, everyone's everyone's on the radio here. Uh, let me turn that guy off. Yeah, so uh, successful so far. Uh, four bullets for Springbuck. So let's keep the train going. Um, I know Dave has already got four too, which is. Um, quite cool he's all the way down there when I shot my first one and they ran right by him so I think he made quick work of that situation so well done Dave uh, happy for you China um, anyway so I'm gonna chill probably eat lunch with the time uh, uh, yeah 22 20 to 12 at the moment but this is very lucky eh? I'm having a lot of fun lucky to be just out here by yourself haven't had much time to reflect. It's been a pretty action-packed morning. Um, but by the looks of things on our next pass, we might, uh, there we go, I see them coming. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drink a quick, quick sip of water and get behind my rifle, because they do seem to be heading in our direction again. So, yeah. Sorry, this is not my energetic self, but uh, <laughs> we're hunting, so the mindset's a little bit different and messing around at the ranges. This is serious, I take it very seriously. Um, I never want to wound an animal, so I want to turn lights out immediately. Um, I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, the wind in the Karua is crazy. Tomorrow we're gonna be pushing 70 kilometers per hour. Um, so pretty nuts. Anyway, uh, I'll check you guys just now. Let's see, oh, I just heard a shot go off. Was it Skulk, maybe? Everyone's shooting suppressed, so only every now and then you'll hear a shot go off. Because we're, we're sitting about 800, 600 to 800 meters apart from each other. So far, pretty cool.
just like that one and done baby um, I don't know if you guys could see that off the bottom there again it's it happens so quickly so I shot this guy over here ran down there and sh shot a nice ram and now the headshot so six rounds six headshots very happy with that all no meat damage zero meat damage because the only purpose that I'm here is to provide meat for my family I'm not gonna preach to you guys don't worry but uh, yeah let me just get on the radio and tell these guys that I, I hit my quota um, yeah so no meat damage ethical kills every single one of them they didn't move one meter the only movement was vertical down to the ground straight down so I'm very happy with with that um, I'm gonna eat lunch probably have some sort of nap try find a tree and uh, that's me for the hunt for today at least <sighs> they're right on Dave again I'm waiting for a shot to run down there like literally 50 meters probably from Dave come on Davey boy let's go wow it's exhilarating like I'm I'm worried about putting a good round on target not worried about getting it on video the video footage that we have already is a bonus I didn't come here to make a video it's way more difficult to hunt juggle cameras get the angles everything the trigger cam doesn't make that easier but in the moment I'm worried about putting an animal on the ground oh Dave this is so freaking perfect dude get it boy okay let me check out what Dave's gonna so do so that's the end of our first day hunting um, very successful the boys are at the back there we've got a fire going um, very lucky day I'm happy with all the shot placement and uh, tomorrow we will try for an oryx um, I'm hoping I have the awareness um, sort of state of mind to manipulate all the cameras and stuff so I can share that with you guys too um, I've never harvested an oryx before so I'm really excited about that I, one thing I just want to jump on real quick um, earlier in the felt today felt Afrikaans word of the day um, is the sort of terrain uh, you're out in the open there it's the felt um, is a uh, I wanna, my goal with hunting is to put meat in my freezer and I wanna do that as efficiently as possible. And I don't want an animal to take one step after I shoot it. So therefore my shots are as close as I can make them because I don't wanna unnecessarily wound an animal uh, at six, 700 meters. It's not necessary to do that. So anyway, I'm gonna go have another fed cook um which is like an afrikaans traditional sort of roasted bread thingy my bobby and they're very good and uh we're gonna have a lack at night sleep tight hopefully and uh, sleep better than last night it's fine we're just making a video here it's drag the chair it's cool um and uh yeah we will uh see you guys in the morning Right, welcome to day two. Uh, we are heading out to our spots. Kimsbroker, they got like a little Yamaha thingy, but my Bobby, as you can see, pretty much nothing around us. So, Kimsbrook and all uh, Kudu, whatever you see, that's kind of the goal for the day. Still doesn't know what to do with his hands. Okay, so here's the situation. We are hunting together today. Um, looking for Gemsbok, as we said earlier. It's very, very windy. It's sort of tucked away in this little copy. And uh, it's just a waiting game now. Um, it's always difficult to judge sort of what decision you should do based on the topography and the wind direction. But we decided we're just gonna sit where we're at. And hopefully we get lucky. Um, yeah, might happen quick. I'm hoping that I can operate the trigger cam quick enough today. So let's see how it goes. What's the time now? 
half past ten. Half past ten now. So we've been here for probably about an hour, fifty minutes already. Uh, Skulk saw some springbok, and we nearly took a shot on one of them, but they weren't they weren't mature enough, so we skipped. So yeah, halfway through our snack packs already. Rode the motorbike back. Oh, my cap is super tight so that the wind wouldn't blow it off. Um, let's fix that situation. Another successful day of hunting. I got my RX. Things happen quickly in the field. Um, at one point, I had an opportunity to shoot one um, that we'd sort of tracked. We were sitting on that spot for quite some time and um, I said to my friend, listen, I'm just going to walk up to this wind tower they're doing like a study there, a feasibility, a feasibility study for a future wind tower. So I walk up there and I see big bull. So I run down, bull sees me too, by the way. I run down, um, grab the rifle, run back up with Skulk and we sort of had two options to to do our stalk with. We decided to go for my option, which would have put us closer to him, but definitely have a shot. The other option could have possibly worked because it's so difficult because you don't know what the animal's gonna do, right? So with my option, as we were almost in position, the animal moved over, he looked us dead in the eye. I got down on my knee, very shot that I would take at a steel target and hit 10 out of 10 times, probably about 150 to 200 meters problem was he was standing on a ridge like that and there was blue light behind him and uh, so we didn't take the shot and uh, yeah we packed it up Skulk actually then shot a very nice shot on a nice ram a springbok ram from a very similar position to where we were they just came from another direction and um, yeah it was quite insane to see him shoot the ram because we could actually see the horns actually explode off the ram which was pretty gruesome but uh yeah and then later in the day i managed to shoot my rx bull not the biggest bull but i'm happy with him that's gonna be plenty of meat for the family um we may go out again it's still it does look let me tap that it's not when the camera focuses on me it absolutely just that sky kind of goes away um so we might do another drive for um for a kudubu later so we'll see let's see what the day holds right good morning so yesterday afternoon we went out again i wasn't planning on shooting any animals myself however i did take my rifle with because you never know there's a lot of uh, predatory animals on these farms and the farmers generally want you to shoot them two of the other hunters weren't comfortable with taking some shots last night so i actually ended up shooting another two animals for them one blessed buck at about 280 meters off a fence not the pole of an actual wire like this with all I used was a pint sized game changer. It's amazing how 
stable we can get um, in pretty terrible like pretty windy conditions so that was a cool shot and then another shot that I felt was probably my best shot of the weekend um, let me just do this my arm is sort of killing me um, was a uh, I shot a kudu bull at probably a 40 degree down angle into this valley um, in horrific winds. I'm probably guessing probably 40 kilometer per hour winds. Um, and uh, yeah, I shot him an, a beautiful shot in the head and he dropped straight down. Cause, and that's going to be some really good meat for the other hunter. But he wasn't comfortable with taking that shot. So it just shows you if we practice these sort of things in a competition environment and that's really why I started doing the competition shooting was to get into a mindset where I'd be comfortable with taking a shot like that um, and make an ethical kill. So uh, yeah, also trashed my hand a little bit last night on the back of the Bucky because uh, we finished um, pretty far away from from sort of where our accommodation is and on the way back they saw a lynx or a roikat um, a roikat let me not roll my r's quite so badly um, and he slammed on the brakes and I sort of lost my balance fell and I pushed my hand into into a piece of rusted metal which is never good but luckily we have some of the best surgeons in Cape Town with us on the trip um, and uh, we mended it up pretty quickly I'll show you guys some video of what that looked like anyway um, what an awesome hunt you guys absolutely run a great show I'll most definitely be back um, great food great accommodation it was a wonderful experience so thank you very much for hosting us and uh, yeah, thanks to all my mates who went with on the trip. It is one for the books, as we would say. And uh, I really enjoyed this trip. And I can't wait to do it again next year. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you are subscribed down here. I really shouldn't bend this hand. Um, join us on Patreon down here. And you can check out some of my other hunting videos up here. So uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.